Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to record video files of your Figma prototype interactions using the Crypto Figma plugin. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is jump into the Figma community page by going to the top left corner of Figma, clicking on the Figma icon and just searching for the word crypto under the community plugins uh, search. And that's just one word, C-R-Y-P-T-O and you'll see crypto password protection pop up as a result. And if you haven't already done so, you can just click on the install button on the right hand side and then you'll be ready to go. So once you've done that, you can jump back into your project. And uh, if, you've, if you haven't already used the plugin before, you can use it by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins, and then clicking on crypto password protection. And that will just open up the plugin that we just installed. Now I've made a separate tutorial video showing you how to uh, upload and manage and delete your prototyping URL. So I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to record a video of the prototype itself. Um, so because I've already used this plugin before in this file, I've already got the live embed option selected. Uh, I can click on share prototype URL and I've already got a URL set up. Um, as I said, if you need to figure out how to do this, uh, we do have another tutorial on this exact um, step which will show you how to get that URL and create this uh, secure password for your prototype. Um, but because I've already generated this, I'm just going to click on the copy password button. So this will copy the password for my URL to the clipboard. And then I can just click on the secure URL to open that up in a web browser. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I'm just going to paste my password into the password text field and then click on login. And this is going to load up the prototype embed that I've already set up using the crypto plugin. So now our prototype is loaded up in the browser under the crypto figmatic app domain. And we can see here that the prototype's working as we'd expect. We can interact with it and do everything that we had uh, linked up in our Figma design. Um, so now to take a recording of this for playing back later, um, we can just go up to the right hand side and you'll see up in the toolbar, there's a little video camera icon. Uh, if you click on that video camera icon, you'll get a prompt from your web browser to give permission to capture the contents of your screen. Um, so typically what you would do is go over to the tab option. Uh, you could technically record the whole screen, but in this case, we just want to record the prototype. So I'm going to go over to the Chrome tab, click on design prototype, uh, which is the crypto URL. And I'm just going to click share and that has now given permission for the browser to record this, this window. And you can see up here, it's got a little red uh, recording icon that's telling you that it has permission to record the screen and it is currently recording the screen. Um, so we've got a little stop button here, which we can click when we want to stop it. Um, but as of now, it's recording the screen. So everything that I'm doing uh, right now and interacting with including the audio, it's capturing the audio uh, as well. So in case I'm narrating what I'm doing or if I'm you know, kind of confused during a user testing session or something like that, the audio can be handy. Um, but yeah, it's basically recording all of my interactions right now. And whenever I'm finished, I can just go ahead and click on the stop button up here. So if I click stop, you can see here, it's automatically downloaded a video file in my browser. And that video file contains all the interactions we were just doing on the page. So I can go ahead and open that up. Uh, so probably the quickest way to preview that video file is just to drag and drop the file into the browser window itself. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to drag it into the toolbar or the URL bar into Chrome, and I'm just going to hit enter. So that's loaded up the video file. And if I just click on the play button, uh, you can see here, my mouse is independent of the mouse in the video. So we've got this mouse, uh, this cursor kind of rolling around in the video there. That was me interacting with the screen while I was record starting the recording. Um, and you can see now it's playing back the recording of me running through my prototype um, on the web page. So, so you can see my mouse here and then you can see the mouse in the video. So that's just playing back. Uh, the video recording that we just took a moment ago and you can re-watch that based on as i said a user testing session or if you just want to record a prototype 
um, to share with your team or share a video file over Slack. Um, this is the way that you can do it. Um, so you can see there, it's just finished the playback. It was just a 45 second uh, recording. And that's, that's all yours now. So you've got that video file that's automatically downloaded and you can go ahead and convert that to a different format if you want. At the moment, it's saved as a WebM file. So WebM is a video format that allows you to uh, view video files on the web. So it's a web specific format. But if you needed to convert it to a different file type, um, you can use some software, video conversion software. If you just Google WebM to MP4 or WebM to whatever other video format you need, uh, you'll be able to find that pretty easily. So, so that, that's something that you can do if you do need a different format. Um, the other thing to note is that while you're recording the page, so if we go back to our uh, embed, if you are recording the video and you forget to click the stop button or you accidentally close the tab, um, it will automatically save the video file for you. So it's, it's just a little bit of a check. So if I click on the video, share my tab, and click share. Uh, if I actually forget to click stop and accidentally close that page, um, it will still download the video file for me. So you don't have to worry about uh, losing that. It will automatically save it for you uh, in case you forgot to stop the video for whatever reason. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. It's a pretty quick tutorial just to uh, show you how to record your Figma prototypes to a video file um, using the crypto plugin. And again, you could do this with screen capture software, but if you're already using the crypto plugin or if you just want a, a really seamless way that doesn't require any additional software, um, this is a really simple way to go about recording your Figma prototype interactions to a video file that you can share. So I hope you've learned something from the tutorial and you can give it a go in your own workflow uh, with your own user testing sessions and all that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching and best of luck using the plugin. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials just like this one. Uh, we'll be dropping a few more very shortly. So stay tuned. Thanks again.